the microphone becomes an instrument <clears throat> and uh, it interacts with the acoustic space. Um, so uh, it, the frequencies change it, uh, all the time um, depending on the, on the space and, uh, and the resonance. to create sound as a form of movements out of uh, this relation between objects that I treat as bodies and surfaces, in this case a uh, snare drum surface. And uh, I apply this uh, attitude to my percussion practice, which is uh, uh, because it has a different philosophical and uh, so ecological implication that I really like to uh, develop and to try to broad in my research, uh, which the main goal is to give a different dignity to very simple uh, relationship that happens uh, continuously between uh, uh, the flux of materials and the surfaces that uh, uh, host these materials. Playing with these, this kind of these ear tones, so this kind of internal space of sound uh, versus this external space of sound. You have the kind of physical sound, which is sound that vibrates your body, that space of your body. Then multi-channel sound to play with, kind of like the space around you. And then maybe there'll be some ear tones today, and uh, so the sounds that kind of happen inside your ear.
piece. Um, I recorded all the inside piano sounds and distributed them in six speaker. And then I was also um, performing somehow to it, making a choreography out of it. And so I have to think myself about why I'm doing this. Because as a musician, you have your instrument, but I leave my instrument, distribute the sounds of my instrument in speaker and go on stage to act with that. It is a little bit, it's not very necessary, but I feel this urge. And somehow I feel that I can share with the audience my love to the sounds even more when I combine it with, with some movements. don't make it at first for sharing it, so to say. I make it because the things behind it are urgent questions for me. And I have to make these things to answer the questions for, me, for myself. So, it's, so I make it at first for myself. But of course, when you find something exciting, then there is a sort of like a, a very naive, a naive uh, wish to show it to someone. But the reason for making is not the showing. The reason is somewhere else. The sounds that I use are widely varied, you know, in that the piece that I did tonight is a cool to try hard now. That's um, mostly electronic sound. And of course it's presented, you know, as an electronic piece. But I also write pieces with acoustic instruments or field recordings or noise objects and things. So it's a pretty wide range. Uh, I feel pretty, I feel pretty lucky to be you know, <clears throat> a composer at this point in history when that's open <laughs> and that's available. There was a model type with a rapper type and like 15 actor types. I need you to scream some reassurance at me. I need some screaming and I need some reassurance. My performance, my role as a performer on stage is I feel very much like it's an ancient, ancient role. <laughs> Um, that was like a shaman, you know, back 100,000 years ago when we were living in caves or 200,000 years ago when we were living in caves. That it's somebody who's willing, it's a role that I'm willing to take on. It's, it's a role that can be stressful and demanding to come on stage um, because I want to try and talk about things that happen. I want to try and open up a space given what's been happening politically in the world over the last few years, particularly since 2016, that maybe, maybe now is the time to speak a little bit more clearly. So in my work at the moment, there's a lot of text, and I'm trying to refer quite, at, at times, 
quite clearly to things that are happening in the world. It's my way of trying to think through things that are happening in the world. So I try to open up this space where I'm vulnerable and I can try and talk about these things in the hope that the audience will meet me. My body is an excellent candidate for technological optimization. What with its inconvenient leaks, the exhausting task of trying to track the discharge and the mucus and the pus and the blood and the blood pressure and the steps and the cycling and so on and so on. You know, just stop. For Akio and me, sound is always uh, related to or connected to the space. So we create sounds, our sounds, you know, with the space or reacting to the space. So this time, you know, we had a really interesting venue called La Scene, which has actually two floors. I think, you know, we don't choose. In a sense, the space tells us what to do. ま、あの、耳にしない限りわからなくて、え、他のところでっていうのは、僕の家でも多少音出したりもしますけど、ここの方が作品としてなんかよく聞こえるんですよね。だから、うん。本当に音と yeah, he, you know, like practicing, so he often practice at home, you know, in Japan. But, uh, you know, it sounds quite different if he performs at another place. And this place had a, you know, quite inspiring, and uh, he could, uh, enjoy the sound much more than you know when he played at home. So you know he, he felt like you know he was gonna help by the space. You know the sort of a structure we unconsciously make. You know, so we are following a scenario too. It's not just, just reacting. So at the same time we are structuring together. I think that I do. You know the thing about sound. Mm. I I don't know whether I'm that interested in sound. Mm. In a way, it's like. You know, it's it's not that. I don't think that we. Um, always looking for sounds. Mm. It's like you're looking for a kind of energy. Or yeah. A, yeah. Yeah. Um, a disturbance or a, some kind of projection. Mm into the space or the situation or the event. Yeah, like event as a organic process. Yeah. Or because uh, we experience like uh, there's a moment we kind of, we started with uh, nothing and then all of a sudden it's become something. Yeah. And that's a very organic experience. I guess they're called sounds, but mm. there's something else. Mm. Um, How about rhythm? Yeah, there's always there's a lot of time going on. I mean, patterns. Yeah, a lot of time. Comes and goes and. Yeah. I mean, the when space 
become time. That's an exciting moment. No? Mm -hmm. Like sometimes I do things and they don't make a sound. Yeah. And it's like, is that important? No, not really. It's, it's like you create an event. And some of the events are making very small sounds. Mm. So that event that makes no sound is, maybe it is making a sound. Um, it's impossible to say. And even I don't know sometimes. Mm. I listen closely, it's happening. Yeah. It's a vibration as a, it's a, it's, sometimes I feel vibration more than sound. <laughs>